In the latest episode of Hack My Growth, we're going to be looking at indexing, what it is and why it's important to anybody looking to have their content rank within the search engines. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. Maybe it's your first time watching or maybe you've been watching a while and you have not yet hit that subscribe button. Please do so now. We create content on this channel to help you get the most out of your digital marketing activity. All right, so today we're talking about indexing and more specifically how you can get your website indexed by Google. So why does this matter even in the first place? Well, Google has spiders or crawlers and they're constantly looking for information. So why do I need to put any extra work in helping them? Won't Google just find my site anyways, eventually by crawling the internet? Well, the fact is they might, but they also might not. See, if your site's relatively new or maybe it doesn't get crawled often, uh, it could be days, weeks, or even longer before your new content gets indexed. And if you're putting a lot of time and emphasis into SEO and content, uh, this could really slow down your efforts and possibly uh, negate them altogether. Indexing is absolutely critical when it comes to your SEO efforts. So what is the Google index? So there's a number of indexes. Every search engine has their own. Uh, and Google is by far the, the largest at this moment. Uh, the Google index, it's a database of all websites that have been crawled and stored by Google for the use in the search results. So every page that appears in the Google search results must first be indexed. So if your page is not indexed, it will not show up in the search results. So let's look really quickly at the process. Now this is a oversimplification of the process, but it should give you a good idea. So it all starts with crawling. The Google bot will go and look for web pages or updated web page content. Once these pages have been found, they then analyze those pages and store them in a database known as the Google index. Now this index is used to provide relevant search results when someone performs a specific query within the search engines. So the more comprehensive and up to date the index is, the better quality of results for the users when they are making a query on Google search. So we've got to make sure that our sites can be found, the content can be analyzed and stored so that they can be used in the revealing process or when somebody makes a query. So how do I get my site indexed in the first place? Well, the first step is make sure your site is indexable. I've seen it a number of times where a client or a new client or potential client has come to us and they say, man, we just got our website rebuilt. It seems like, you know, we can't find it. There's no, our content's not showing up anywhere. Uh, the first thing I do is I look at the site and I see if the no index tags are on the site. Typically they're put in there during a development process so that, you know, you're not indexing sites while you're building them. Um, but what happens is a lot of people leave these on and then they wonder why their site can't be found. Well, it's because they're telling Google, do not index my site. So the first step is making sure that your site and your content is indexable and readable. Then you need to set up Search Console. And we've got a whole video on how to properly set up Search Console. You know, and then there you can do things like adding sitemaps and really making sure that Google can read your content. Uh, you also need to add internal links to your content. So it makes it easier when the Google bot comes to your site to find new content. And then if necessary, if they're just not finding that content, you can go and submit those URLs within Search Console. Again, I'm gonna direct you to a video that we have all on Search Console and how you can use it. And that should help you with that process. But this will walk you through. It's pretty straightforward. Make sure your site's indexable. Make sure you've got sitemaps and Search Console. Make sure you're adding internal links to your content. And if necessary, submit your URLs directly to Google, which is done inside of Search Console. So how long does it take? Once you've put this content out there, how long does it take for them to index it? Well, John Mueller, who works for Google, said it could take anywhere from several hours to several weeks. Uh, it just depends on the site and how much crawl budget you have and how fast Google is coming to your site and re-indexing content. Now there was research done that showed about 83% of pages are indexed within the first week of publication, but it can take up to eight weeks or longer to get indexed. So this is something you do need to pay attention to, especially if you're creating a lot of content, making sure that Google's picking it up. So why does it take longer for some rather than others? Well, Google's massive. It's billions of web pages. Um, it's over 100 million gigabytes of memory. And Google doesn't limit the pages that a website can have indexed, but it will maybe ignore some pages that they don't find to be as helpful. Um, it's a very complex process, a very complex database. And so there's a lot that goes into it. But if you want to appear in the search results, it's important that you do two things. Optimize your website 
on page best practices. Make sure you have a good technical SEO set up. Make sure that you have your sitemaps. And then, like I said before, submit your URLs directly to Google and they will be added more quickly than if you just kind of let Google do the process on their own. Two other things that can make it take a little bit longer are crawl demand and crawl budget. And we're going to talk about those really quickly. Um, crawl demand and crawl budget are the two important concepts that we have to consider when optimizing our website. So crawl demand is the first one, and it's the frequency with which Google recrawls your website in order to discover new content. The higher the crawl demand, the more often Googlebot will come to your website. So these are typically sites like news websites that publish frequently, uh, and they need to be crawled often because they have up-to-date information. You know, it's stuff that's kind of happening now, live, in real time. Uh, lower crawl sites, maybe sites that are around topics that just don't change very often, right? These are maybe uh, pieces of content or, or sites that cover things that just aren't seeing as much renewed or new action. And understanding where your site fits in this process can give you a better idea of how often Google's going to most likely come back to your website. The next one is crawl budget. And this is another factor when it comes, obviously, to SEO optimization. And this is the amount of time and resources that Googlebot spends on your website. So if your website is limited by resources um, and it's pretty difficult to get deeper and, and you're, you're not using a good internal link structure, uh, it can drastically uh, dampen your crawl budget because Google's not going to work harder than they have to. Yes, they're bots, but they, they have bots with parameters and they have different rules. And if your site is hard to access, it's hard to find new content on, they're just not going to waste their time on your site. They're going to move to a site that's easier to crawl um, because it's, it takes less resources. It's a lot more efficient, you know, all of those things. So if you can understand crawl demand and crawl budget, you can make your site more efficient, more technically efficient, have better internal linking structure and allow Googlebot to have an easier time finding all the pages on your site that can really help improve the indexability of your site as a whole. So if I do all these things, am I guaranteed to be indexed? The reality is, is no. Uh, oftentimes Google will just say, oh, we know about this page, but we're not indexing it because we don't think that it, it's really worth indexing. So here's some reasons that you might not be indexing. First off, check your robots.txt file. Uh, are you limiting indexing in certain parts of your site there? Do you have no index tags on certain pages? Um, did Google find a piece of content that was canonical? So they're saying, well, this, this piece of content is, is probably the best piece of content in our eyes on your, on your website, as opposed to what you think. So those are things that, that play a huge role. Again, following best practices. You can have poor link quality, poor content, or poor overall site quality. All three of those can have a massive impact on how your site is being indexed and seen by Google. Uh, it's, it's important that you take time to do the little things well so that your content, your pages can show up the way you intend them to. So another thing that you can do is leveraging structured data. Structured data helps set the context of the content. It helps to add more structure to your site in a way that search engines can better understand it. So one of the many benefits of structured data is improved indexing because you're able to improve the way you structure your content. And we've got a course that walks you through exactly how to do that using JSON-LD. Uh, and it walks you through some of the basic types of structured data that are available, basic types of rich features that you can earn. It walks you through how to actually create your own JSON-LD structured data so that you can add those different features you need to help improve the readability and indexability of your sites for the crawlers. If you're interested in taking that, go ahead and sign up at learn.simplifiedsearch.net. Use the code YouTube to get 25% off. Thanks a lot for watching. If you've got any questions, please comment below. We'd love to continue that conversation with you. And until next time, Happy marketing.